In this video, we are going to be creating a branded poster for a project that I want to do regarding some frames within my room. Now, this video is more of a behind the scenes of me creating that poster, but if you want to see the implication of that poster, be sure to click the link in the description or right above. And with that being said, let's get to creating. So I know the overall concept that I want to do for this poster, it's basically going to be a brand poster that I'm going to just kind of implement the logo, the colors and some type of gradient format, the typography that we use in terms of the headers and the long form content, along with any like patterns or just overall just breaking down the brand behind Saints Media in a nice kind of cool, simplistic, but yet chaotic way if that makes any type of sense. So I'm on Pinterest right now and I'm kind of just looking through for some inspiration, something kind of like this, but not so organized. I think a little bit more sporadic, but this is kind of just the overall concept. If you guys have never done any brand breakdowns or even just designed any brand for anyone or any client, it's a ton of fun to do even for your own brand to kind of just break everything down and show every component of it visually. So first things first, well, with sometimes with projects like this is I like to, like I said, go on Pinterest and kind of just look around so right now i just kind of searched up some like brand breakdowns and i'm kind of just looking through for any pieces of inspiration just in case there is something that i like that someone else has done in the past and that i would like to kind of tweak and kind of do on my own now what i have done in the past if we take a look on my behance page real quick and that is in this brand breakdown. I did this concept once before where I utilize these kind of Polaroid boxes to kind of indicate the colors that we use within the brand. And I wanna reutilize this when it comes to mine. And I know that I wanna use some type of gradient with kind of this noisy background to it. And then depending where those colors kind of lie, I'm gonna have those Polaroids in those spots to indicate the colors that we use. First things first, since we know that that's going to be kind of our baseline layer let's go ahead and i'm gonna go into illustrator and let's see if we can kind of make this gradient real quick not really liking the fact that within the grain there's doesn't seem to be an option to change the actual color of it i mean from afar it looks good the only problem though is like i want the grain added in not to have that red green and like kind of blue color to it like for example if we kind of zoom in here specifically on the white transitioning to gray you might be able to notice that there's a bit of like different colors especially down here in this area you'll notice it a lot and i know in photoshop you're able to actually make them monochrome they're basically just in the black and white spectrum there's no added color to it so i want to be able to do that so we'll probably just do that in photoshop afterwards and we'll implement the grain there what we're going to do next is we're going to implement the logo into it so we're going to kind of size this down i think we probably leave it like the white version of it whenever you do like brand breakdowns it's always kind of smart to just have the either white version or complete black version of the logo and in its simplest form so that you can actually see the actual shapes of it so we have the logo i know i want to implement kind of these like background lines to kind of indicate the reasoning behind just certain elements and that just mainly being the actual circle part so we're gonna come in and take care of that <laughs> Now, next up, we can add the Polaroids within it. Okay, so the Polaroid images are in place, which is good. Next up on the list is to implement probably the typography within it somehow. So let's try to figure that out. I kind of like the dark one, yeah. So we have that and we also have Helvetica. So they probably shouldn't be too big because, well, they'll be hard to see. So we want to probably keep these pretty small. I'm trying to 
to think what else do we need to make sure we implement there's the typography there's the colors there's the logo i mean looking back at our brand book the way we normally would classify things there's a bit of imagery that we could kind of like throw in there blend in probably in photoshop potentially there's the past logos that we could kind of throw in there as well the vision yeah we can actually throw that in so what i'm thinking is essentially throw this in there I think what it's probably missing for sure is just imagery within it that we can kind of like throw in there. But I don't really know what else though, because there's something missing within like these areas and here, you know? I mean, I know I want to add like potentially like the line work. Imagery could help, that's for sure. I mean, let's try it. Let's see if there is something that we could use. Let's just throw in like a random image. I'm curious to see how a black and white photo would blend in, if that makes sense. Like, had we put one there, you know, it, it could make it interesting. Yeah, I could see it. And then what I'm thinking we could do is we can actually fade this a bit so that you don't really see it too much in there. So it just kind of adds a little bit of texture in there. I mean, I think I honestly, I think I'm gonna get rid of it in this area. Like I don't want it in this area. I'm just gonna mask this up. So what I'm thinking next is we implement some of the personality components that really kind of created the brand essentially. And that we kind of tried to stick by. And those, once again, as an example, being authentic, simplistic, and limitless. Those are the three words that we kind of go by. We could probably put those words and then also put them in the Japanese context behind it as well i think i know how i want to do it i believe yeah like something like that yeah i'm a fan of that i like where that's gone now there's still that idea of an image i mean i kind of like that there that's not too bad we could just add some more text or something down here or we like re-envision this part which i think is a, a bit lacking i think in this area oh okay yeah actually that's a happy accident that we love those now we're talking i am a fan of that now so now that we have the illustrator file opened in photoshop we can go ahead and just make the tweaks that we need to make we can go ahead and mask this so we're gonna get in close here make sure that we have a nice soft brush for certain parts and then we'll obviously have a harder one in others so let's just start with the easy spots and we're just gonna come in here and get rid of it in certain areas here Now, the part that I almost actually forgot is we're going to add a bit of noise. And as you can see, this is what I was talking about earlier, where there's the ability to have monochromatic. So we're going to add a decent amount here because we want it to be pretty noticeable. So I'm thinking maybe 30%. I think that's pretty good. I think we made all of the changes that we really needed to make within the Photoshop file. A lot of the heavy lifting was done in Illustrator. So I'm liking the way this came out. This is essentially what I had in mind when I was kind of envisioning this project before we, I kind of got started. At this point, it's now obviously time to get this printed. If you guys want to see how that turned out, make sure to click the video right above and check that out and let me know what you guys think. If you guys would want something like this, maybe who knows, maybe in the future we can start creating some prints on the Saints Media website. Let me know how you guys feel about that and with that being said of course make sure to leave a like if you actually enjoyed if you didn't all good maybe in the next one and just uh remember to keep striving for perfection keep creating and i'll see you guys in the next one have a good one peace out bye